Hello and welcome to my channel Cochin Outlets. Today's video is on bulbophilia. Bulbophilia is one of the largest genera in the orchid kingdom. It comprises of more than 2000 species. Considering the number of hybrids produced, it can be considered as one of the largest groups in the orchid kingdom. They are distributed in the tropical, subtropical and temperate region. That means they are cosmopolitan in distribution. Bulbophyllums are found in the hot, humid climate, in the cooler regions of the mountain and in the topmost region of the mountain where the temperature drops up to 5 degrees centigrade. Bulbophyllums are distributed throughout the world. They can be found in South America, the Caribbean islands, the African countries, India, the Asian countries, Australia and New Zealand. They are found growing as epiphytes and lithophytes. That means they are found attached to the branches of trees and on the surface of rocks and rock crevices. They love to grow in High humidity. Bulbophyllum species have creeping rhizomes and rounded pseudobulbs. Most species have a single fleshy leaves. The leaves are usually folded along the midrib. The genus displays a wide diversity of growth forms, ranging from small epiphytes to large cane like species. Many of these orchids have small flowers with colored sepals that are often larger than the petals. Some species are pollinated by flies and give of an offensive order. Bulbophyllum means it has got a bulbous leaf. That means it has got an expanded lamina like this and it has got a bulbous base. These bulbs are the storage regions of the plant where it can store water and food materials. The actual stem of the plant is this. From the base of the bulb, you can see a tuft of roots are produced. These are fine roots and they require frequent watering. Bulbophyllums can be grown in pots like this. They frequently overgrow the pots and produce tuft of roots below the bulb of the plant. You can use charcoal, coconut husk, perlite, pine bark or even sphagnum moss to a certain extent to grow these plants. Bulbophyllum requires high amount of moisture. So you have to use a medium which contains or which can retain moisture. Bulbophyllums can be easily grown on wooden logs. You take a piece of wood like this and put the bulbophyllum and tie them to the wood surface. The roots should stick to the wood and cover it with moss so that it will grow very nicely. This is one of the best method mimicking their habitat in the nature. The flowers of Bulbophyllum are 2 mm to 400 mm in size. The leaves vary in shape. The leaves reach up to 1 meter in certain species of Bulbophyllum. The flowers are usually pendant in Bulbophyllum. Sometimes there will be a large number of flowers 
in the inflorescence. The flowers are not long lasting. Most of the species, the flower lasts only for about a week. The flowers show spectacular color combinations and the leaf of the flower is often hinged like this. It is get expanded on the arrival of the pollinator. It goes down helping the pollinator to collect the pollinium on its body which is located somewhere below the stigmatic surface. The petals of bulbophyllum are sometimes curly in nature. Bulbophyllum prefer to grow in moderate to bright light. If the bright light is not damaging the leaf, that is the most suitable light. Bright light also induces flowering in bulbophyllum. Bulbophyllums are water loving plants. They love to grow in humid environment. One has to water twice during summer and winter they don't require much water. They take rust. If the medium is crispy and dry, we have to water. If it is soggy, then we can delay watering. Shrilled pseudobulbs indicate the plant is being underwatered. Reduce water during the winter depending on the humidity and temperature. Bulbophyllums needs to be fertilized using a balanced fertilizer. That means a fertilizer which contains the micro and macro nutrients in the right proportion. They require the fertilizers in very dilute concentration. That is, if you are giving 1 gram per liter of fertilizers to other orchids, give only 0.25 grams per liter to these plants. They are sensitive to high dose of fertilizers. During winter, these plants take rust and they don't require much fertilization. During monsoon, these plants produce new roots and shoots. At that time, we have to regularly fertilize. That means fertilize every week. Giving them humic acid, fish amino acids, etc. triggers their growth. There are some popular and interesting bulbophyllum species in the world. For example, Bulbophyllum beccari orchid is one of the largest orchids known. It is a native of Borneo. Bulbophyllum vetlandianum is a beautiful species from tropical Thailand and is a member of the Sauropedalum section of this genus. Bulbophyllum medusa or medusa's Bulbophyllum is named in honor of the iconic female character in Greek mythology, Gorgo Medusa. The thin and long lateral sepals of this orchid's plant's flower are envisioned as the snakes in Medusa's head. Bulbophyllum barbigerum is more popularly known as the bearded Bulbophyllum. It is native in parts of West and Central Africa. It got its nickname from the hairy appearance of its flower, which has a very nasty odor. Bulbophyllum longiflorum is widely distributed in many parts of the globe. This includes tropical regions of Seychelles, Madagascar, Philippines, Solomon Islands and Australia. Thank you for watching the video. 
Please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon.